Tell me what where what were you what <laughs> Are you okay? You were wondering what Stevie was thinking? Oh, what's yeah, what's yeah. that you about? Were when you heard that. Well if it's all I think it is, yeah. Yeah. So basically it's I'm in this weird phase in my life where I feel like my life is a dream a lot of the time. I have pinch me moments all the time because my life is full of insane things that happen to me. So I currently live in Los Angeles because my career is going very well. And, um, <laughs> and uh, people told me, like, when you move to LA, it's not going to be like how you envision it. They're like, it's not going to be how it is in the movies. It's not going to be how it is in the TV shows. It's not. It's better than that, <laughs> OK? It is insane. Look, like, I've got so many anecdotes. One of them, like, for COVID, when everybody was in lockdown, I was in lockdown in this beautiful house um, that this woman gave me for free because she thinks I'm talented and she worked for HBO and she was like, take my pool house. And I was living <laughs> literally a road down from George Clooney and the voice of SpongeBob SquarePants. Shut so I knew up. I'd made it. Right? <laughs> and literally, my life involved like my mates telling me about their lives in London, like they were in the house or whatever they did, they made nut loaf or whatever the fuck everyone did. <laughs> and I would be, like, going on COVID walks with George and Amal Clooney. Like, Shut up. This you did is not insane. do that. Yeah. I would you see them every COVID morning. Walk... I'd, they'd say good morning, and after a while, they kept seeing me, and George would be like, oh, do you, we're going tomorrow at 8 a.m. Do you want to...? I was like, oh, no, I guess, please, George Clooney. And that was my <laughs> life, and that was the beginning of my um, L.A. journey. So I got used to, like, crazy things like that happening to me. Like, there was a time I was shopping, and Cameron Diaz asked me to pass over the cheese, and I didn't work at the shop. <laughs> <laughs> but if Cameron Diaz asked you to pass her the cheese, you're going to pass her the cheese. I was like, would you like cheddar or brie? Like, I literally, <laughs> I passed Cameron Diaz the cheese. So, like, things like this were happening to me all the time. I have to tell you this because what I'm about to say sounds insane. But basically, after my comedy special, To Catch a Dick came out, to critical acclaim, um, I, uh, <laughs> it changed my life. Is that and when so, your confidence hit rock bottom? Rock bottom. <laughs> I'm so humble now. <laughs> It changed my life, and you start seeing that, like, your friends are now, like, your Hollywood heroes. Crazy. So, like, I'm, Kevin Hart produced my Netflix special. So I'm friends with Kevin, I hang out with Kevin, and uh, when you're friends with Kevin and part of the Kevin crew, you get welcomed into the Hollywood comedy community. So last year, Dave Chappelle threw me my birthday party at his house. No. And, like, when I tell you, Dave Chappelle is, is, is a genius, a beautiful man, lovely man, but I was, like, in Ohio at his house, and it was... He made this massive cake, Union Jack cake with London on it, and he had his chef that made weed-infused macaroni cheese. Yes. <laughs> Have you ever been high and got the munchies, but then the munchies got you high? No. <laughs> like, no. The man is a genius. That saves so, so like, much time, doesn't it? Literally. <laughs> so I'm literally just there, like, I'm... I'm on weed infused macaroni cheese. I'm at Dave Chappelle's house. And then he was introducing me to everyone at the party. I met like Tiffany Haddish and David Letterman and all these amazing people. Then he turns and he's like, London, meet Stevie. Now, in my head, I'm like, it can't no. be the Stevie. It can't be that Stevie. Like, Stevie, a different Stevie. Yeah. I turn and like Stevie Wonder's standing there. No. And like, this is that. I am the biggest Stevie Wonder fan. Like, I am. Ugh. So I like shake and instantly cry. And uh, Dave's like, uh, Stevie, this is London Hughes. She's a really talented comedian. Um, London Hughes meets Stevie Wonder. And I'm like, oh my God. And then I reach out to like, shake Stevie Wonder's hand. And Stevie accidentally shook my left breast. <laughs> <laughs> Accidentally. <laughs> like, they say he they can't say, see. Yeah. Can't see. <laughs> <laughs> and Ooh, he's he's and reading in Braille. Five stars. Like, what is this? But I let him, like, the man did songs in the key of life. Do you know what I mean? He deserves a bit of side Mate, I'll bet you stuck that right move in there. Go on, finish like, off, And let him shake, and then, like, <laughs> he does this thing where he grabs, give me your arm. He's, he's like this, he's just like, he does this. And he'll go all the way Working up. Working his way back and up like, to boo. That's what, <laughs> and like the whole night. The I'm talking to pride. Stevie and he's like, oh, I love your accent. I love your accent. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, thanks, Stevie. And then I literally was like, what is my life that I can say that Stevie Wonder shook my left breast? And it's literally like a Tuesday. <laughs> it's so funny because I was talking to Tiffany Haddish about it. And she was like, you met Stevie? He grabbed your boobs, and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> so he does. And also, TV Wonder has the most beautiful entourage of black women. I'm like, how do you know that all these women are so hot? Like, how? But he does, and he's just the sweetest, sweetest man. I love TV Wonder. If you enjoyed that, remember to subscribe to Dave and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our fresh content. Let us know in the comments who you'd like to see join me around the table and head over to UK TV Play where you can stream old episodes of As Yet Untitled for free.